Welcome to Unigen Programming Quick Start Tutorial Creating and Deleting Nodes at Runtime In this video, you are going to learn how to create a node and set up its parameters and position How to pass a node to the editor How to delete a node when it is no longer needed Now let us dive in and start developing our first C++ project for Unigen in our project, we are going to need some objects. So let us write an auxiliary method to create an object mesh dynamic node and call it add mesh to scene. Write another auxiliary method to append some initial set of objects to our scene. Let's call it init objects. And we are going to store the list of the nodes created at runtime in a vector. So let's get started. So, okay, first of all, in our header file, let us include a couple of libraries that we are going to use. The first one is Unigen Objects, in order to be able to use the objects. And the second one is Unigen Editor, in order to be able to use the editor class. We're also going to inject the Unigen namespace. So in the private section of our app word logic class, let us add the pointer to the editor. And a couple of methods. The first one is the one that creates a mesh and adds it to scene. We're going to call it add mesh to scene with the following parameters. Uh, the first one is the file name. If it is not specified, we are going to create a default box or load a mesh from a file otherwise. The second parameter is a mesh name. It's a name we're going to assign to the object. The third one is a material name. And the last one is a vector which determines the position of our node in the world. The second method we're going to use is going to help us to create an initial set of objects. Let us call it init objects. And we're also going to declare our vector where we are going to store the objects of our scene. Our objects are going to be of object mesh dynamic class, so the vector components will be object mesh dynamic pointers. So now let us implement our add mesh to scene method in the app word logic cpp file first of all we're going to create a mesh as we declare a mesh pointer call it a mesh and call the constructor of the mesh class we're also going to need a an object mesh dynamic pointer. Let's call it OMD. Okay, now if the file name is specified, we're going to load a mesh from a file. For this purpose, we're going to use the load method of the mesh class and specify the file name. So, if everything is successful, we proceed. Otherwise, we show the message. We are opening a mesh file. 
to the user. So if the mesh was slotted successfully, we are going to create an object mesh dynamic by calling its constructor and specifying a mesh. Otherwise, let us consider the case when the file name is not specified. Here we are going to create a default box by using add box surface method of the mesh class. First, we we'll specify the name of the surface and then uh, the sizes along all axes. We're going to use VEC3 class and our box is going to be 0 0.5 units in each dimension. Then we again call the constructor of the object mesh dynamic class and specifying the mesh. Now we are going to set the material for our object by calling the set material method. Specify the material name and the pattern, which actually indicates that we are going to assign this material to all surfaces of the object. Then we are going to set the name of our object using the set name method. And we're going to set the position of our object in the world by calling set world position method. So the next thing we're going to do is to pass our new created node to the editor to be able to work with it later. We do that by calling release method and then calling add node method of the editor class and specifying the pointer to the node. We can extract it by calling the get node method of the object mesh dynamic class. Now we're going to add our objects to the vector. And we're also going to report our progress to the console by calling the message method of the log class. OK. and we'd specify the name of the object that we added. And we're going to perform some cleanup. We're going to call a clear method of the mesh class. So our method is ready. And now we're going to write another one that is going to create us an initial set of objects our init objects method. Here we are going to create four boxes positioned next to each other using our add mesh to scene method.
let's call our objects my mesh dynamic with an index. Assign a mesh base material to it. And set a position. So now we're going to increment the index. Okay. Now that we created all our objects, we're going to report the progress to the console. Now using warning method. So that objects generation is okay. Now inside the initialization method of the world, which is called app word logic colon colon init, as you know, and performs all initialization before starting the main loop, we're going to get a pointer to the editor in order to be able to use it later by using method get of the editor class. And we're going to call our init objects method. Now, another important thing we're going to do is performing a cleanup at the world shutdown. So let us insert the code removing all our created objects in the shutdown method of the app word logic class. while we still have objects in our vector, we remove the first one from the scene using the remove node method of the editor class. And remember, we must specify the node pointer. That's why we use the get node method. And then we remove the object from our vector also. So, okay. Seems like everything's ready. Now we're going to launch and see what we've got. Well, now we have an initial set of objects to experiment with. And in the next section, we're going to work with cameras.